Good morning student myself professor Tawal Chandrana and we are back to understand what was a cyber ethics in unit number 5 guys we are continue on our cyber law and ethics subject which is part of your regular curriculum which is provided by the GTU and i think now we are clear that why we are study this subject in very interesting way because it is the actual requirement to understand what are the different issues will be happen when we are doing any online activity or when we are conducting any activity under the cyberspace so guys on our previous lecture we will discuss some basic fundamentals to how to use a ethical way of a latest technology or we can say emerging technology which is available right now on the market is nothing but a artificial intelligence on our previous lecture we will discuss some different five points which we really re need to understand about uh, how to use ai on a ethical way on a later on we will discuss if we are not using a ai on a ethical way then what was the different issues will be there and according to the different issues we will easily identified that if any of this emerging technology if we are not aware about how to use those technology on a proper method on a ethical concept then what was the drawback in form of personal life in form of a societal point of view or in form of original world which we are living right now so it is the things which we are discussing on our previous lecture today also we will discuss some of the new concept behind how to use a cyber ethics on a latest and updated technology is nothing but a blockchain so guys for the today's lecture we will discuss a introductions to a blockchain ethics and the later on we will discuss a key attributes of a blockchain so guys it is the most important thing to understand how to use a blockchain in a proper manner through which we can getting um, as much as benefit for our day to day life or our business point of view or we can we, we need to create our life into the very beautiful and easy way to implement our daily activity with a latest and a new one technology so guys today we will start with the introductions of blockchain in an ethical way blockchain is a term that refers to a particular class of digital distributions or distributed ledgers technologies that share record of a sequence informations or a translations or transactions simultaneously in a immutable and a secure manner across the network guys it is the latest a trend to transfer uh, any of this technological method into the blockchain because it is now the day they are uh, become a more and more relevant to your day to day activity all these organizations will be transformed for actual platform to the blockchain platform so it is the best way to use a particular new and latest technology for reducing your actual task reducing a programmatical task in form of a different technology this is the things which we are study in concept of a blockchain in this particular unit we just gone through the basic concept about blockchain because blockchain is a vast subject and it is a latest trend to use this technology on a future use blockchain does not require a central trust authority to verify a informations or authenticated transactions rather than trust is built into the governance rules with a pre-written code defining how actors can behave in this system guys on a previous lecture we also gone through this if uh, ai is not used in an ethical way then what was the issues and for that if any of this company will be create or making as an ai robot or we can say we converting a human into the machines then we need to follow some of the rules which we are studying in a previous lecture and it is the things which we need to aware about how to use a latest emerging technology on a proper method each transactions between a network actors is strictly verified using the computer algorithm against the governance rules the accepted transactions are then grouped into the secure we can say a blocks of informations and linked sequentially in a virtual chain guys what is a blockchain it should be defined on a last paragraph it is just a combinations of block they are connected with each other and create some latest functionality 
and it is really helpful in form of a security in form of program in form of implementation some hard level language into the software level form so it is nothing but a collection of block it should be connected in form of virtual chain or we can say sequentially virtual chain it is nothing but a blockchain so it is the things which we are need to aware about what is a blockchain is nothing but in three different concept a transparency immutability is not in working in progress and the trust so it is the chain through which we can implement our organization in concept of blockchain if we want to convert our business our websites our product or our system into the blockchain manner then we need to follow these things or this chain to converting our available data available sources available program or available website into some new emerging technology now we will see the key attributes of blockchain because now the day a blockchain is also boosting in a latest technology on our market then we will study what are the different advantage will be provided by blockchain compared with the previous technology which is already available in market why people are move his or her business into the blockchain system why they provide more fund in form of available technology to a blockchain so it is the things which we are discussing in form of the key attributes of a blockchain so we can easily understand that why people are move to the some of the available technology to the blockchain technology so blockchain has an spectrum of a key attributes that are highly independent and which vary in their relative dominance based on design and the implementations means they can accept the actual reality which is required now the day on concept of a biggest organizations if they want to boost up if they want to compare with your relative partners who can provide a same product but according to the requirement they want to become a more and more growth in his or her personal organizations and these things which should be acceptable in concept of blockchain all of these key features should be considered as in the potential attributes since their exact relationship depends on the detailed design of a particular blockchain system because it is the things which we are need to understand on the next slide what are the different key attributes through which we can easily understand a blockchain mechanism or why the blockchain technology are more powerful compared with the available platforms so it is the things which we are understand about a key attributes of a blockchain start with the trust immutability pseudonymity variability controllability security disseminated and a transparency all the things should be connected with each other and they work independently with an open platform it is nothing but a blockchain attribute or we can say key attributes of blockchain now we will go through this each and one to identify or understand what are the different case through which we can adopt those technology compared with the available platform so first thing it is nothing but a transparency identical copies of the entire record of transactions are available to all the particular at all times this is often referenced to as in the distributed ledgers the ledgers provide the transparency of the transactions to anyone with the access guys it is the actual requirement now the day because of whenever we accept any client's data so we will provide the surety against a security as well as reliability means whenever they want his or her personal data with any period of time or with any kind of situations if they have authorized people or authorized group of peoples then and then they can directly access his or her data which should be stored on our server and it is the mandatory things which we need to provide as an organization and it is nothing but a transparency second and a most important part of technology when we built in concept of a trust strict governance rules copygraphy or we can say typography and immutability of transactions work together to provide a strong security for the individual interactions directly on the distributed networks without a central trust authority means customer directly deal with the organization they not require any kind of intermediary person 
to gain the trust according to the organization because organizations are always be follow a strict rules which is provided by the governance and it is the best way to define as a blockchain technology third it is a immutability immutable transactions record on a blockchain cannot be changed or removed means the transaction should be happened whatever the transaction it should be happened on a particular system it should be a successful or not successful or it may be a transaction it should be fail then everything should be record and it's never be updated or never be removed and it is the actual reality that can shown on a particular logbook it is the things which require now the day in concept of immutability because if someone provide a, any kind of mistake and through which they can fail this transaction then it should be shown your customer side in form of they can identify how the particular transaction is failed and what was the di disadvantage if some of the transaction is failed now on a later on what was the change is required to change or to change a transaction on the blockchain a new transaction need to be added to reverse the effect of the original one so they can easily compare with those both transactions why the previous transaction is failed and now what we need to update to success those transaction according to the previous history so it is the concept of immunity immutability and it is the beauty of a blockchain so guys now we will just clear about that why a blockchain technology is most adaptable technology for the giant company with availability of platforms next one is a pseudonymity using the public in the private key system it is nothing but a cryptographical system participants have a public facing digital address that is a not publicly associated to them but over which they exercise a unique control so it is the concept about a security only authorized person have some a criteria to access those particular data and through which they can only access those data which is defined by the particular as an owner so it is nothing but a security level which should be defined in a blockchain concept with help of pseudonymity then verifiability transaction on a blockchain are immediately auditable in real time as in the immutable and a sequenced digital leaders a blockchain allow the complete record of transactions to be directly uh, verified means whatever the transaction happened within this particular technology within this particular environment it always be record as per the immutable and it is always be verified from the customer side or we can say end user side as well as for the owner side so we can cross verify all the transaction as per the requirement and according to the transactions if it should be failed then we can need to improve on a later on so it is the things which we are discussing in concept of key attributes of blockchain next we will discuss a controllability the tracking of individual assets uniquely on a blockchain allow as an individual to exercise effective and exclusive control over the data or the digital assets because now the day a tracking is the most powerful tool to perform a legal and illegal activity which is happen on a particular platform and for that a controllability is the most important things whenever we adopt some new technology same like a security next one we will discuss in concept of security because it is the prior things when we are discuss in any of the latest technology trust and security is most powerful tool if we are gain those constraint or gain two powers according to the client requirement then we are always be active on a platform which is accessed by the public the use of encryption algorithm combined with a disaggregations of data across a distributed networks of nodes provide the security against attempt to destroy it or change the record of a transactions means they provide a more security which is compare comparatively more compared with this available platform next a dis intermediations using the direct transactions blockchain technology can streamline a process by cutting out a unnecessary intermediary and the process steps as well as reduce the risk of errors that usually come with the extract transaction in the system guys on a previous key point we will discuss that they have work within direct line to owner executions means they not require any kind of intermediary transactions so they can't waste 
a time they can't disclose his or her personal data with some intermediate constraint so it is a uh, important things which we need to understand that if our business will be need to move to some available platform to the blockchain we can provide a faster response according to the client requirement with help of this intermediate key attributes and the last thing we know that what is the importance about all these features which we are discussing in concept of blockchain i hope you are clear and i hope you are enjoying these things because it is the new for you to understand what is the blockchain technology and why this thing is emerging technology on now the day or why people are adopt those technology more quickly as much as requirement so i hope you are clear what are the different key attributes which is provided by the blockchain technology thank you so much